While I still have the floor, I hope you'll indulge me while I make a personal comment. Have you ever known your brother to be so chatty? Most of you know, no. This past year, Not that I'm complaining. I like this for me. And for the people that I love, many bad things were done in my name. When I was finally rescued, after a year of being held against my will, I came back to find out that not only were these acts done in my name, I also found out that, that, that no one batted an eye. Where is he going with this? I don't know. Apparently, nobody thought. Gee. Isn't it odd that Luke Spencer, a man who was a uh, former mayor of Port Charles, a guy who spent his life fighting Cassidines and other dangerous elements in this town, has suddenly, and for no apparent reason, begun hurting the people that he loves? This is one downer of a keynote. And then it occurred to me that I wanted to rage against all of you. But I didn't, because I realized that there was a reason that you all thought I did those things. And it wasn't because the imposter was so good at it. <laughs> it was so spot on. It was my own past that damned me. The many wrongs I've done, the people I've hurt, the things that I've done that can't be undone, the harm I've done. Knowing me as you do, I understand why. Why wouldn't you think the imposter was me? I apologize for interrupting, Dad, but I can't let you compare yourself to the man who tried to steal your life. You're not even remotely alike. And we should have all known that Luke Spencer would never, under any circumstance, have tried to have his nephew killed. Thank you, Lulu. I appreciate that. But what I'm trying to say is, I understand why you believe that I was the imposter, and I forgive you. Oh, what a gas bag I am. <laughs> I think it was the shrimp. <laughs> Let me turn the evening over to Michael Quartermain. Thank you, Uncle Luke. Give us some speech. Well, let me assure you that it's not an omen of orations to come. I promise you from now on. And personal importance. That's the last speech you'll ever hear me give. The grave that Sean and I dug out belonged to William Eckert. Who's he? He's Luke Spencer's look-alike cousin. And my Sonny and Sean think that he's the one still posing as Luke and running the Jerome organization. Wait, 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 wait. So somebody's still running around pretending to be Luke. Wait, I'm sorry, but didn't Dante already tell you this? Now, in association with GH, the AJ Quartermain Clinic will provide at no cost to our patients a full range of health care services. In addition to annual physicals, checkups, and urgent care services, the clinic will provide this specialty referrals. This is ridiculous. Referrals, if you're not going to call Dante, and Dante is not going to call you, I'll call Dante for you. You do not want to get involved in this. It's too late. Health Give me your phone. I will talk to Dante sure when I get home to me. Okay, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Almost as great of an idea as talking to him right now, so here's what's going to happen. I'll handle the party, and you go have it out with Dante. Fine. When you're right, you're right. You're right. You don't even have my phone. I have no idea. I put it down somewhere. Now, thank you all for showing up tonight and for bringing your wallets. <laughs> Lulu's phone. No, I'm sorry, Lulu can't come to the phone right now. 